Mr. Gomez is a 56-year-old man who works full-time as a speech pathologist. He presented to his primary care physician one week ago with abdominal fullness, left upper quadrant pain, weakness, and fatigue. His past medical history includes hypertension, which has been well controlled on hydrochlorothiazide. A chemistry profile and complete blood count were obtained. The chemistry profile was within normal limits, with an exception of an elevated lactate dehydrogenase, LDH. The CBC revealed a white blood cell count of 125,000, hemoglobin of 10.5, a platelet count of 600,000, and 2% peripheral blasts. Physical examination revealed palpable splenomegaly 10 centimeters below the costal margin. Mr. Gomez was referred to a hematologist oncologist for an evaluation which included a history and physical examination, CBC with differential and peripheral blood smear review, and a bone marrow aspirate and biopsy for morphologic review, percent blasts, basophils, cytogenetics, fluorescence in situ hybridization, or FISH, and quantitative polymerase chain reaction, commonly referred to as qPCR, to detect the BCR-ABL fusion gene. Mr. Gomez was given hydroxyurea while diagnostic results were pending. He was instructed to start allopurinol and increase his fluid intake to two liters of non-caffeinated beverages a day for tumor lysis prevention. Mr. Gomez returned to the Hematology Oncology Office today to discuss the results of his diagnostic evaluation. He was told he has chronic phase chronic myelogenous leukemia and is now meeting with a nurse practitioner to discuss his treatment in further detail. <laughs>